Hello, welcome to Beta Mathematics classes. I am Sanjay Kumar Beta. Today I will start calculus. So before starting calculus, we have to know few terms, few definitions. Okay. So first we will start x tends to a. We will understand the meaning of x tends to a. Next we will see the left hand limit, right hand limit. After that, definitions of limit. And many more. So let's start. to a what is the meaning of this x tends to a let x be a variable and a be a constant if x assumes values nearer and nearer to a then we say that x tends to a or x approaches a and is written as x tends to a by x tends to a we mean that x is not equal to a and x may approach a from left or right function f x equal to x squared when x approaches 3 x approaches 3 means x is good uh, x is tending to 3 that means the expression the limit as x approaches 3 is written as this this way it means limit limit as x tends to 3 let us check some values of uh, this one that is limit x tends to 3 when x is increasing, when x increases and gets closer to 3, when x increases and gets closer to 3, what happens? Let's see. When x is 2.9, fx is 8.410. What is fx? x squared. x squared means you square 2.9 into 2.9. I'll get this. When x is 2.99, fx is 9. So, when x is 2.9, fx is this much. When x is 2.99, this one. x is increasing. When x is increases and gets closer to 3, fx 
also increases and it gets closer to what? 9 loop. So from this what we have seen as x increases and approaches 3, fx gets closer and closer to 9 and since x tends to 3 from the left. That means here x tends to 3 from the left. This is called left hand limit and is written as x tends to minus 3 minus 3 number. Okay. When x approaches 3 from left hand side we write x tends to 3 minus here x is increasing and becoming closer to from left hand side and this is known as left hand limit so when x is greater than 3 what happens that means let us take the values uh, greater than 3 3.1 3 3.01 3.001 3.001 here as x decreases and approaches 3 this one decreasing it is decreasing and approaches to 3 then fx still approaches and reaches what 9 this is called right hand limit and is written as x tends to 3 plus s s limit fx x tends to 3 minus that means left hand limit and right hand limit both are equal to 9 then we say limit fx x tends to 3 is 9 remember left hand limit right hand limit both are equal then we can write like this here tree will take no symbol. of the symbol limit fx extends to a equal to l what is the meaning of this symbol let fx be a function of x where x takes values closer and closer to a okay x takes values closer and closer to a and let fx assumes values nearer and nearer to l that means when x here the values of x are closer to a then the values of fx will be closer to what l then fx tends to the limit l as x tends to a it means what again let fx be a function of x where x takes values closer and closer to a and let fx assumes values nearer and nearer to l then fx tends to the limit l as x tends to a so now what let us see the algebraic rules for limits remember limits k f x if there is any constant before function take a, take it out limit of uh, sum of sum of limits or difference of limits it will be limit f x plus minus limit g x when there is multiplication between two functions lim then we can find limit separately limit f x limit g x and division the limit fx by limit gx.
not if the left hand limit of a function is not equal to right hand limit then we say limit does not exist for existence of limit left hand and right hand limits must be equal a limit a limit equal to infinity does not imply that limit does not exist okay Lim that means the value of limit can be zero in determinant form if fx is x squared minus 9 by x minus 3 then f3 f3 is what 3 square minus 9 by 3 minus 0 by 0 which is which is not defined understood by substituting x equal to 3 the function assumes a from whose values can be determined form is called the indeterminate Limits can be evaluated using the following formula methods of substitution, method of factorization, method of rationalization, and using the formula. What is the formula for limit? Xn minus an by x minus a, na n minus 1, and many more are there. We will learn all these in later classes. Limit as x tends to infinity. What does mean? We know that when x tends to 0, when x tends to when x tends to infinity, 1 by x tends to 0, remember. So when, then in this case, we will put x equal to I hope you have understood. If you did not understand, you just uh, comments me. I will try to explain again. And in the next class, I will use the formula of limits to solve or to evaluate limits problem. Thank you.